everyone it is Marie here from Skeins and I thought I would come and catch up with you this week because I have news big news we have now finally got lay by up running and live on the website it is something that I know many of you have been asking for and we're really quite delighted to finally have that there which is something that is just fantastic um, it has been something that we've been looking at doing for a while now and it has been good that we can finally get it there. And what is lay-by, you ask? I mean, I mean, we've always talked about lay-by and yarn, but if you've never seen the new site lay-by, what lay-by is, is an, it's a really, it's an, basically an easy way to pay. They go and take that whole lay-by concept and split your payments up over six payments. You do it through them but you get all your product and yarn up front. Uh, it is, if you check them out online, you just need to join up, pop all your details in, and then when you come to us, you do your shopping and go through to check out, select lay by, and it will take you through to your lay by login and account, and you do all that information there. So it is so, so much easier. Um, in fact, in fact, uh, it went live over the weekend. We didn't realize it was going live quite so soon, and, uh, we only realized when we started seeing the order starting to come in. So many of you have already tracked that down and seen that that is available. And it is, it is just really so, so much easier. And we're really, really, really pleased to have it. So if you're looking at a way of spreading payments out, particularly when it comes to sales, we have offers and you don't want to miss out on something. Lay by is a really easy way to spread those payments out and make things much easier for you. So yeah, we're really, really excited about lay by and having that there. So yeah, so that's there now. So make sure you check lay by out. And if that's something that's going to work for you, um, brilliant. I'm hopeful, I'm really pleased that we've been able to do that for you. Uh, also on the site, you may have noticed that things have started sprucing up a little bit and I have uh, relinquished a bit now on a lot of the uh, photography because I do a lot of the photography here and a lot of the short-term photography that I do for the site and I have done so for year, years but I'm not a professional photographer and we don't use professional editing suites and I work really hard to try and match the colors for things but it has made much more sense now that we've got a lot of really solid ranges that we don't alter and we don't change. We've put the investment in to actually make sure we get some really, really smart, nice photography on core ranges. So the wonderful Stephanie Irons, and many of you know Steph Irons um, from Available Light Photography. Uh, she's also designed by Samin, um, who does some wonderful, incredible designs as well as a designer. She has been doing some photography for us and you have to admit it is just fantastic. So she's taken a lot of time to photograph the yarns. Um, she's a passionate knitter herself, so she's photographed them. She's made sure the color matching is there and is looking good. And she has been working through our entire core range now for a number of weeks. And I've just loaded up Perindale, and we've got full stocks of Perindale finally, uh, and it now looks fantastic. If you've been a Perindale lover, you will have seen those awful thumbnail photographs, which I can tell you are some of the original photographs that were taken 10 years ago. Awful. Um, Stephanie has re-photographed all of them for us. They look so, so much better. Uh, so they give you a better idea of the color of the yarn. And you can actually see the texture of the yarn uh, more clearly as well. And the other beautiful thing about Perindale too is this is still a 100% New Zealand raised, New Zealand grown and New Zealand spun yarn. It is, would you believe it? Well, I actually think it's quite believable. It is our number one selling yarn. It always has been our number one selling yarn. I think it will continue to be our number one selling yarn. And it is because it is just such incredible, incredible value. And it's in a good, wonderful paint box range like it's our hugest color range there's always something there it's double knitting and it's just it is the workhorse of yarns and it really is just a wonderful wonderful yarn a little tip actually with Perindale it's non-machine wash but I know many of you have been working with Southlander and you adore it particularly our Southlander DK well Southlander DK and Perindale are completely interchangeable their counts are almost identical so if you're wanting to do some color work and you especially want um, some clean color work uh, like vibrant whites or um, 
other clean colours to add a pop, you can actually grab some Perindale and add that into your Southlander colour work. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. So it just gives you that added uh, options, really, for colour work in Perindale. And you can now see the colours so much more accurately because of the beautiful work that Steph has done for us. She's also re-photographed Merino Soft. A number of the new colours, actually, they look so much better. Uh, so she's photographed those for us. Uh, she's also re-photographed the orb. And I know many of you were struggling. Some of those orb colours are very tonal and quite similar. And Steph has really been able to bring out the nuances in those ranges and help you see what those are. So, yeah, so do make sure you check all of those out because I think she's done a fantastic job. So, Steph, thank you so much for that. And the box just arrived back this morning. So, um, yeah, and we've got more coming for one that I've missed. See, there's more coming. And we're going to, she'll be photographing all our new range launches from now on. And so, yeah, really, really, really excited. About, I'm very excited. Today's exciting. It's very excited about that. Um, what else is news? Oh, the Uffy. So I know that there are some Uffy orders that went out over the weekend. And I thought I would share with you how this is chugging along. Yeah, nice spin it around. There it goes. Look. Woohoo! So this is just the um oh the tunic I've been working on. Not the microphone on the floor. So that's the tunic I've been working on there. The camera does not honestly give this colour justice. This is a beautiful dusty pink. But what I wanted to show you was that fabric that and this is so soft. So incredibly soft. But the beautiful thing about that fabric, because this is a wrap yarn, you get that lovely, this is just stocking stitch, but you get that lovely texture. Really delighted with how this is going. I'm hoping that in the next week or so, I'm going to get that finished off because I want to have that as my can cardigan. Um, but that is going really, really well. And the pattern, if I pull it out, and there we go. That's the pattern there. It's called the Elemental Raglan. Now, she has done this actually in garter stitch. Um, because I'm me, and everyone that knows me knows that I like to make a lot of modifications. So I have actually altered that from garter to stocking. And the other thing, and I don't know whether you can see there, she's sort of got this uh, step down, whoopsie, step down um, hemline, uh, whereas I'm actually probably going to do mine in short rows and actually do it asymmetrical because that's me, uh, but it's entirely up to you. But this is working out beautifully. Um, I, it's actually knitted, uh, I'm knitting it actually pretty much, she's done it in a DK cotton and I'm knitting it uh, as on a five millimeter needle um, as she has per written and as you can see that fabric looks fantastic. So I'm um, really quite pleased with that. Uh, we also have, we're heading into the August, August nights. Uh, that is coming up next month. So the, yes, people always ask, will you be doing something for can? Yes, we will. We always do in terms of uh, something special. And we've got some new yarns coming for can. I'm hoping hoping beyond hoping that legacy will be uh here by then so it is it's here it's done it's fun it's it's just been caught up down in balling so that should fingers crossed be ready to go in time for can which is our new uh, merino a uh, merino pole worth in this so it's um in this case so it's yarn that comes with uh sustainable or um, traceable origin sources uh, so that will be there for can and actually Claire and I we've been doing a little bit of a fossick around uh, I think we're going to have a little bit of a um, uh, not a garage sale but you know just a spring clean as it were of a few bits and pieces so I think there'll be a few little treasures that'll pop up on the website uh, so definitely do watch out for that so that will he happen from next month as well um, but I'm not going to talk too much because I've got a whole heap of stuff to do it's school holidays I'm really disorganized I haven't got my stuff in together and I need to get a newsletter out to you as well about the lay-by but until then I hope you have a great week and I am going to be back I'll talk, I probably won't catch you next week but I will catch you the week after hopefully with legacy which will be great but until then have a fantastic rest of week and I'll talk to you again soon bye